In this movie, I'm going to show you our roof structure module. I'll click on the letter R and select roof structure. The module is now on my pricing sheet. Before I begin, I'd really like to ask you, how long does it take you to accurately price a roof? And I don't know, create your cutting list. You don't have to answer straight away, but it's definitely a question that is worth thinking about while you're watching. OK, I like a challenge and I really want to show you what this module can do. So I'm going to price up the roof that you can see here on the diagram, in the pricing sheet. This will mean I'm going to do an estimate that involves pricing for hips, valleys and the lean-to roof that you can see. And to make it even more difficult, I'll be using rafters rather than trusses. Let's get going. I'll just click on the example picture so you can see. I'm going to be pricing a roof for a house that is the same as the picture here. I'm going to do this by pricing up each of the sections. This is what's so great about this module. You can price up any roof that you can imagine by building up the sections. The first section I will price is the large middle section you can see here. I'll just exit this picture. I will need to bring in a module for each section that I am pricing and I will need to give them an individual title. So I'll call this first section Roof Structure Main Area of Roof. I'll enter the span of this section of roof, 6 metres. Next the length, this is also 6 metres as it's a square roof. The soffit I enter here, this is 0 0.2. The default centre for my rafters is 600. I will leave this as it is, but you can change it if you want. I'll now use the handy roof wizard. I will click on the picture here. I'll select Apex and ensure that rafters are selected. You can of course select lean-to or trusses if that's what you're doing. I'm happy with these settings, so I'll click to go through to the second stage. Here, I can select the type of structure I will be using. As you can see, there are many different structures to choose from. My main section of roof is a hip both ends. I simply click on the picture that shows this. I am instantly taken to another picture where I can really fine tune the details. By working through the drop down menus in the diagram, I can choose the size of the materials I will be using for collars, the rafters, the ceiling joists and the ridge. You will notice that as I click on each drop-down menu, the section of roof it refers to is instantly highlighted in blue, just in case our terminology differs from yours. I can also select the material for my hips and hip infills by using the drop-down menus here. I am happy with the default material selections, but of course you can alter any of these to match your requirements. And you also have the option to add in the number of any extra collars, rafters or ceiling joists that may be required. I'll now click enter onto pricing sheet and all the information that I have entered using the wizard will instantly be put out into the pricing sheet. I'm now back on the pricing sheet but I will just click on the roof span picture here. I did enter most of this information directly into the red cells at the start of this movie but you can enter it here in the picture straight away if you wish or do as I have and use both the red cells and the diagrams. I will just alter the thickness of the wall to 0.3. You can also use this picture to alter the pitch of the roof up or down and set the soffit overlap onto wall to meet the exact needs of your job. Just to recap, before I show you the pricing sheet, by entering the three numbers into the red cells and using the wizard to select the type of roof I am doing, my main section of roof with rafters is priced. OK, let's look at what's been priced. At the top of the sheet, I can see my cutting list, clearly shown in the blue text. I can see the quantity and lengths of timber that I will require for each part of the main roof section. So rafters, ceiling joists, hips, hip infills and so on. Next, I have the main roof totals. This provides the details for each item that I will need for the main roof. For example, the first line is rafters and I can see the material type, which you can change if you wish, the total quantity I will need of this material, the cost of the material, the hours that have been allowed and the cost of these hours, and the total for each item. I can also see which trade will be doing the work. 
And finally, the work section that this item will be listed under in my reports and breakdowns. Better still, I have this level of detailed information for every single item that I will need to build this roof. The main roof totals are followed by other items that I may require. For example, the wall plate, gable ladders, binding, bracing and so on. As you can see, there are some blue cells in this section that may require your judgement. So if you do require any of these items, you can just enter the quantity and it will instantly be calculated and included in your estimate. I will be using bracing and I will enter 44 linear metres. I'll just click on the question mark for the roof sheathing. At the moment, this has been allowed for. I won't actually be using this on my roof, so I will go back to the pricing sheet and simply untick the box, and it's instantly removed. If you're going to be putting in Velux windows, you would just select the Velux window and flashing, then just enter the quantity. You also have the option to enter two different types of Velux window and two different types of flashing. My wall plate restraint straps are highlighted in yellow, as these may require my judgement. I'm happy with this default setting, but if you're doing something different, then you can alter the quantity directly in the cell. Truss clips. If you're not using these, just untick the box and they will be instantly removed. My fascias and soffit have all been calculated for me. I am going to be using timber for these items, but if you're using plastic, then simply use the drop-down menu here, and you can easily change to a plastic option. Then select the type of fascia and soffit you want by using the drop-down menu. Soffit vent discs are here. I am using these, but if you're not, just untick the box and the cost will be immediately removed. If you change your mind later on, you can easily re-tick the box and the cost will all return. I will just click on the soffit vent disc question mark. At the moment, I can see that soffit vent slips are what the quote is based on. If you are using circle vents, you just click on the picture and the pricing sheet will automatically base the pricing on your choice. I'll leave this as it is, but you can change it if required. All of the fixings that I will require for this section of roof are listed next. You will notice that every item on the pricing sheet has a question mark next to it. By clicking on these, you will be shown a helpful diagram that clearly shows a pictorial example of the item and will often allow you to enter your preferences directly into the picture. Any information that you enter into a picture will instantly update the pricing sheet so it matches your selections. By using the diagrams, you can easily fine-tune the details to meet your exact requirements. And if you know you always do something in a certain way, then you can set your master copy to your exact preferences. That way all of your defaults will be exactly as you want them every time you use this module to price a job. Finally, I can see the totals for the materials, hours, labour, along with the overall total for this section of roof. OK, I'll now very quickly show you how straightforward it is to price up the remaining sections of roof that are needed to create the roof that's shown in the picture. I will bring in another roof module. I'll need to give it a suitable title. As it will be over a kitchen, that's what I'll type here. This time, it's again an apex roof with rafters. I'll select this roof type, which is a hip that abuts an existing roof. I'll enter the measurements for the span, 4.3, length, 5, and soffit width, 0.2, here. I've also chosen the insulation type. Now everything is calculated for that section of roof. I'll now price up the lean-to section, which means again I bring in the roof structure module and name it appropriately. I'll call it Roof Structure Lean-to Over Lounge. I'll enter in the dimensions here, span 4.15, length 5.8, soffit 0.2. Again, I'll choose the type of roof here, which is lean-to. It will also have rafters. In the next screen, I will choose gable both ends. I will be leaving these as they are, but you can change the default material selected for the rafters, ceiling joists and so on. Here is the cutting list for this part of the roof, along with everything else including the fixings. 
With this type of roof, which is a lean-to, there are options you can change for the gable ladders. I'll just click the question mark. The default spacing is set at 600mm, but I'm going to change this to 400mm, so I will enter 0.4 here. You can view and change even more options by clicking this thumbnail. This shows exactly what has been taken into account. You may want to change these defaults here while pricing a job or in your master copy, ready for every future job you price. OK, that's that part of the roof all priced. I have brought in one final roof module for this last part of the roof. I will call this Roof Structure Front Porch and enter the dimensions, span 3, length 3, soffit 0.2. This time I will choose Hip Valley for the roof type. You have more options you can change for this roof type if required, including the hips, valley infills, layboards and valley boards. I've now priced up all my sections of roof, as well as showing you the finer details and great features this module can offer. The totals for this final section of the roof are shown here. So. How quickly could you have priced this roof using your current estimating method? Allowing for everything and achieving accuracy down to the last nail. Oh, and you would in this time have also needed to create a work schedule, cutting list and material list as well. Not only do I have a complete and accurate estimate, but I'm left with the time to look after the rest of my business and maybe even have an evening off. <laughs>